Today, I will show you some pro tips for creating these types of animation videos in Canva. Without wasting any time, let's get started. Go to Canva and select Video. From there, choose the first option. This will bring you to a blank canvas. In the Elements section, scroll down to find various graphic elements we can use. You can search for anything you like. I searched for fried chicken. Also, you can filter the results to show animated graphics. Now, I'm going to design an animated clip. I'll start by searching for a road landscape. Go to graphics and you'll see plenty of options. I'll pick this one. I want to create an animation of a bus running down this road, so I'll search for a bus. There are many to choose from. I'll select this one since it's also an animated element. Click on the bus to add it to the editing page. I'll flip it horizontally from here. Now I'm going to drive this bus from left to right along the road. Does that sound a bit confusing? Don't worry, it's not a big deal. Minimize the bus like this and position it on the left side like this. Next, right click on the background image and set it as the background. Position the bus like this. Click on Animate, then click on the B icon to create custom animations. Hold the Shift key and drag your bus to the right side like this to create a straight path. Let's take a look. From here, selecting original means the bus will move at the speed you dragged it. So change it to smooth or steady. I prefer steady. Then click done. This is one way to create this animation. This is the second way you can create this animation. Click outside of the editing canvas, hold the control key, and scroll to zoom out the screen like this. Position the background and scale it so it overflows from the page like this. We're going to add a custom animation to the background. Click on it, select animate, and click on the B icon. Hold the shift key and drag the background image in the opposite direction of the bus's movement, like this. Now, you'll see the animation. Select steady and adjust the background's moving speed as you wish. Position the bus like this. Let's take a closer look. You can reduce the length of the clip to match the end of the animation like this. Okay, isn't that awesome? There's another way to create animations called Match and Move, which works like keyframes in typical video editors. Anything you can do with keyframes, you can do with Match and Move. Let's take a look. First, click the plus and add a new page. Zoom out the page, position and scale the background like this. Then duplicate the page and the bus. Drag the duplicate bus to the second page. Now edit the second page. 
Drag the background to the right corner like this. Make sure the background only varies horizontally, so the margin should be the same for both pages. And position the bust to the right side as well. Now, hover between the pages and you'll see the page transition option. Click on it and choose Match and Move. This will compare the element's scale and position on both pages and match them. Increase the transition duration from here. I set the transition duration to 3 initially. Take a look. Isn't that awesome? Now I'm increasing it to the maximum. After downloading, split the video and keep only this middle part. Then I change the duration to 2. Take a look. That's how you animate the bus running using Match and Move. Now, imagine you want to make a ball bounce. You can also do this with custom animation by clicking the B and Animate. Without holding the Shift key, just drag the ball as you wish, like this. Then, change the movement style to smooth or steady and adjust the movement speed to your preference. If you want a tutorial on creating a full animation video, just let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like the video, subscribe my channel, click the bell icon, and stay tuned with me.